Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my new Let's Play. My name is Siperos, and this is Back to the Future Part 3, Timeline of Monkey Island. Fitting that name to its title of these videos is going to be a pain in the ass, I can tell you that much right now. Anyway, this is a very special game because it's not an official release, but a fan game, made by a guy named Daniele Spadoni. I don't know anything else besides what the long title of this game is telling us. I'm just going to assume that Marty from Back to the Future films is going to use the time machine to go back in time to the past of the pirate age in the Caribbean, for whatever reason. Judging from some, some of the few screenshots that I have seen, we'll be visiting some familiar locations such as the Melee Island from the first Monkey Island game, maybe some locations from the second game too. I honestly don't know what to expect from this game, really. All I know is that I'm excited. So let's not waste any more time and let's start our new and first fan-made adventure. So, we start from the intro, I suppose. Okay, now this is old school. Yeah, this is very old school, alright. Uh, I'm... I make a DOS. The fan came back to the future, part 3, Timeline of Monkey Island. Yes, it's booting up, folks. Still waiting. Wait! Uh huh, okay. Before we begin. Alright, alright, now what? Let's have a quick history quiz. Oh, history quiz, of course, that's always fun, isn't it? When was this pirate hanged in Jamaica? Oh, you mean Marty? Ah, uh, okay. And the answer to this is 1655. How do I know this, you might ask? They tell you the answer in the game's download page, whose link, by the way, can be found down below in the description. Okay, so this would be the answer, okay. Ah, this music. Daniele Spadoni presents. Deep in the Caribbean. The island of Mele. And, oh god damn it game, the best part was coming. Software failure and art. Loading, brief wait. Okay. Back to the future, part 3, timeline of Monkey Island. The fan game. Damn, this looks awesome. Based on characters created by Robert Zemeckis. Bob Gale, Ron Gilbert, Dave Crossman, and Tim Schaefer. Robert Zemeckis. I'm I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name. I don't know how to pronounce it. Robert Zemeckis. Well, whatever. This looks fucking awesome. Okay, and we got an. Apparently, we got an option to play either short game or full game. Well, of course, we're gonna play the full game. What are you talking about? Except that we can't because they didn't have the budget for it, apparently. The the game cannot be created without a budget. Well, okay. Well, that sucks. Well, okay, fine. I guess we'll be playing the short game. Daniele Spadoni presents, again. Pixel artist Davide Spadoni. Must be his brother or something. Saturday, November 12, 1955, 10.03 p.m. And here we are, folks, and that's Martin, Marty Seamus McFly himself. Okay, our inventory screen, and we got the, we got the iconic hoverboard, and here lies Emmett Brown. Hmm, it's been many years since last time I saw any of the Back to the Future films, so I may not remember uh, many things from them. I do remember Marty, all right, and this awesome uh, Ghostbusters look uh, look-alike car, of course. But Emmett Brown, I don't remember that name. Is that is that his mother? Well, I don't know. But anyway, Leon Estates or Lion Estate. Oh, and that's the our time machine or DeLorean. Was it called DeLorean in in the films? Okay, can we... Mm -hmm. When I'm right-clicking, I get these different options. So, regular, regular click, 
uh, observe or inspect or something like that. And I don't know, touch and talk to. Okay. Wow, this is heavy. Oh, I remember that line too. I can. Oh, sorry, what? You're joking, right? Well, I'm just test. I'm just testing the different commands here. Mm, okay, we can't touch it or anything. Leon Estates. Can we go anywhere else from here? Hm? Uh, what was Bush? Okay. Apparently the bush doesn't interest him. Hmm. Uh, can we enter these the estates here? Oh, better yet. Oh, we can. Damn, we can use the hoverboard. Fuck yes. Can you? Can you use the hoverboard to go to fly up there? No, apparently not. Okay. Uh, what to do next? And what does this do? Or does this do anything? <laughs> I just started the game, and I'm already stuck in the very first screen. That's a great start, isn't it? Oh, jacket! I could barely see it from the damn background. Uh, pick it up. No. Uh, what do you mean, no? What do you mean, no? Pick it up. God damn it, Marty, you are not very cooperative right now. Uh, jacket. Whose jacket is it? Okay. Walkie talkie. And sports almanac. Okay, so you just. Ah, so, so you didn't want to pick up the jacket, but you want to pick up the walkie talkie and this grey sports uh, magazine. Or at least it looks like a magazine. Not sure what almanac is exactly. And, but we can't actually pick up the... Wait, can we... No, we can't even click on the jacket anymore. Okay. Just in case. Fresh batteries. Okay. Uh, okay, can we, like, use it? Mm, okay, so we can track it like this. Use it with DeLorean. Doc, is everything alright? Over. Ah, so the doc... Christopher Lloyd is in there. It's very miserable. Uh, much too turbulent for for a landing from this direction. I'll have to approach from the south. Have you got the book? In my hand, Doc. I, I got it in my hand. You mean this? Burn it. Check. I will use this matchbook. Ah, and I, I suddenly got this. Okay. Ah, so Christopher Lloyd is, uh, is up there. Okay. Use this. That doesn't seem to work. Wait, uh... It says, Pleasure Paradise. Okay. Mm. So we have to burn this. Grey Sports Almanac. Oh yeah, I think that in in one of the films, I don't remember... I don't remember... I don't remember that which film it was. Was it the first or second one? But there was... There was that one bully guy. Uh, whose... Uh, whose future self... Uh, whose future self... Uh, went... Somehow got somehow got uh, back in time to the to the past to the uh, to Martin's own timeline, and met met his younger self and gave and gave him this gray, gray sports almanac magazine that 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 basic that basically told all that basically told that 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 who's going to win what who's going to win what in some sort of a, some sort of sports events and that and that's how that and that's how the bully in Martin's own timeline could could know all could know. Good to know that who would win what, and then he wants lots of money that way. I became filthy rich and stuff like that. Ho uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you you you, un you understood what I tried to explain to you. But yeah, I remember that bit. But now, so it says pleasure palace. Okay, uh, that doesn't seem to work. So we must burn this thing, but. Uh, Can we talk back? Oh. Can we talk to him again? Apparently not. Um, oh well. But we have to burn this somehow, but... Can we like... I don't know. 
I mean, this uh, this has matches inside, right? So I have to open it. I think. Um. Okay, I don't fucking know what I'm what I'm supposed to do here. Can I contact? Can I contact the Lorian? Uh, this way too, I wonder. If I just click on this car here. Maybe I'm supposed to do it this way, I don't know. That doesn't seem to work. Okay, fine. I mean, this match matchbook is supposed to have matches inside. That's what I... Th and that's what I think uh, this matchbook is. It just have matches inside. But, so I can't go anywhere. Can't go there. Can't go through this uh, gate. Bush. Hmm. Wow. A bucket. Holy crap, folks. We found a bucket. Okay. But that doesn't really help us. Uh, right now, I don't think. Or maybe I'm supposed to... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to put this uh, magazine into the pocket first and then I burn it or something. Let's see. Okay. Okay, alright. So, so it's in the pocket now. And then we burn it. Okay. Ah, so that's what I have to do. A bit silly if you ask me, but oh well. I guess he doesn't want to cause fire hazard by accident. And there we go, back to... Oh wait, I we weren't in there. Doc? Doc, come in, Doc. Do you read me, Doc? Come in. No. He's gone. We are so screwed right now. The dog's gone. Meanwhile, in the past... Oh hey, Largo, from the second game. Did you manage to bring back that bloated fool? You mean LeChuck? I made several attempts, but... But what? Unfortunately, I cannot open a gap in this dimension. Surely in others. Damn. If we had only one living piece of LeChuck, we could resurrect his body. I heard I heard that the fortune teller killed LeChuck. He blew him up into a thousand pieces. He will pay for what he did. Fortune Teller is a female, though, so unfortunately we have little hopes. Oh, hey, that's the Swordmaster. Rip. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to Melee Island. So wait, who died? Hook Hand? Oh hey, look at that, folks. I gotta get picture. Let's go back to the future. Well, okay, whatever you say, game. Oh hey, a swan. What the... The timeline has changed. Doc was transported back to 1655. Wait a minute. Who are you? My name's Bobbin. Bobbin Threadbear. Larko Likrande attempted to save LeChuck with a voodoo temporal spell. Wrong target. Who? Take these pictures. And this map. You shall know the que answers to your questions. Hmm, okay. Just some random dude that I can't recognize. Here lies Emmett Brown. Died July 3rd. Uh, shot in the back by William Dogfish Tannen over a matter of 80 pieces of eight. <laughs> okay, that's a bit harsh. Erected in eternal memory by his beloved Carla, the sword master of Melee Island. Ah, okay. Who the hell is Carla? What? He he's vanished like Batman. This is heavy. There's only one man who can help me. Okay. Doc, Doc, Doc. Okay, so is this... Uh, which talk is this? 
Doc, Doc. Okay, relax, Doc. It's me. It's me. It's M Marty. No, it can't be. I just sent you back to the future. Yeah, no, I know. You did send me. Back to the future, but I'm back. I'm back from the future. Great Scott! <laughs> and he fell down. Doc! Oh no! But when Doc changed his car... Hey, that's Ghostbusters car now that I, now that I look at it. New York, 1984. This is getting confusing, folks. <laughs> okay, so we just stole the Ghostbusters car. Hours pass. This phenomenon of spectral portals are amazing. I do not think these phenomena are limited only to our space-time. Hey. Uh, had we not parked here? Gosh, um, taxi! Ghostbusters! Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! When strange things happen in the neighborhood, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! But let's go back in 1955. This is so confusing already. You are not alone. Yeah, who the heck is that? Great Scott! Date, Sunday, November 13th, 1955, 7.01 AM. Last night's time travel experiment was apparently a complete success. Lightning struck the clock tower at precisely 10.04 p.m. Sending the necessary 1.21 gigawatts in, into the time vehicle, which vanished in a brilliant flash of light, leaving a pair of fire trails behind. I therefore assume that Marty and the time vehicle were transported forward to time into the year 1985. After that... After that, I can't recall what happened. Well, thank God, because... Uh, in fact, I, I don't even remember. I don't even remember how I got home. Okay. Oh, that more text. Perhaps the gigawatt discharge coupled with the temporal displacement field generated by the time vehicle caused a disruption of my brain waves, resulting in a condition of momentary amnesia. Oh, damn! I'm impressed. Indeed, I now recall that monsters after time vehicle disappeared into the future. I saw a vision of Marty saying he had come back from the future. I'm trying so hard to keep up with the text. Undoubtedly, this was some sort of residual image. Hey, Doc. Calm down, okay? Just calm down. It's me. It's Marty. No, it can't be you. I sent you back to the future. Again. That's right, Doc. That's right. But I came back. I came back from the future. Don't you remember last night? You fainted. I brought you home. This can't be happening. You can't be here. It doesn't make sense for you to be here. I refuse to even believe that you are here. Doc, I am here, and it does make sense. Look, I came back to 1955 again with you. Uh, the you from 1985, because we had to get a book from Biff. So once I got, got the book back, you, that is... Uh, that is, the you from 1985 wearing the DeLorean, then later a portal opens su uh, and sucks the car and... 6055? It's a very interesting story, future boy. Uh, but there's just one little thing that doesn't make sense. Sorry guys, uh, if, the, if, the me from, if the me of the future is now in the past, how could you possibly know about it? Take these pictures. You shall know the ans answers to your questions. Sorry guys, I... I desperately tried to keep up with the text here, but... Ah, yeah. Really wish that this game had voice acting, even though I was not expecting it, of course. Great Scott, it's me! Then it is true, all of it. It is me who goes back there and gets shot. It's not gonna happen, Doc. After you fix the t time circuit and put, and put new tires on the DeLorean, I'm going back to 6055 and I'm bringing you home. Okay. Let's look at the map. Alright, according to this, the time vehicle is sealed off in a side cave. We may have we, we may have to blast. Right, Doc? Doc? He's disappeared. Oh, disappeared. I think there was a typo there. 
But now, finally we can play now again. Jesus Christ, I'm al already confused by these timelines and shit. Okay, so... Hmm... Path... X marks the spot. Oh, this X here. Okay. Well, I guess we go to the... Uh, X for now. X marks the spot. Indeed it does. Oh, and we did now only... Oh, we have these two now only. Okay. You're joking, right? What, you don't want to touch it? Well, okay, I guess we can't really do anything to the X right now. Let's just go to the path and see where this leads us. Hmm, a map. Okay, so where... Oh, we are here. Okay, so... Village. A ruined tower over there. Well, I guess we go to the village. A big tree uh, with a hang rope. Let's see what we have here. Hole. A hole. Yeah, sure. Too high. Okay. Can you climb the tree? I guess you can't, or you just don't want to. Well, fine. You can always come back here later. Alright, let's now go to the village. Okay. Now. Where are we exactly? I mean, what is this town? A bus stop. Okay, nothing interesting here, apparently. I'll uh, just continue following the path. Okay. Hmm. Nothing to interact with here. Well, there's that. There's do There's a door. Uh, open it. The fishing shop is closed. Okay, so it's a fishing sh shop. Okay. Where else can we go from here? Hmm. Beach. Okay. Anything here? Where is everyone? This place is 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 very seems very empty right now. It's kind of creepy that there's no one. Uh, pier. Hmm. There's a boat, a beach. It's very pretty here. Uh, see. In the depths of the sea, I see a chest. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I recognize that place. It's from the first Monkey Island game. Do, we, do you want to go into the sea? I will not throw myself in the water. No, I didn't think so. Maybe we're supposed to find a diving suit or something. Mm. We can't do anything with this boat here. Let's go back to the beach, I suppose. Seriously, there's nothing else besides besides the path of the pier. Okay, that's a bit dull. And path, beach, can't go there. And that door is closed. I'll be right back. Okay. Maybe there's maybe there's someone behind the door. Ah, I guess not. I guess not. I guess we have to go to the pier and do something here. He won't throw himself to the water. We can use the hoverboard, okay. Hmm. Let's see, can we travel around with this? No, she, uh, he, he will always, he will always uh, jump off the hoverboard whenever we are going to going somewhere else. 
let's go back here and see if, if we can go somewhere else from here. We can't even check out the bus stop any more closely. Okay, let's leave and see if there's any other places where we can where we can go from here. X marks the spot is there. Hmm. Can I decide that to which part of the village I can go? Hmm. Doesn't look like it, no. He always comes here. Uh go back. Back to the path. Back to the map, please. There we go. Okay, so there's a big tree. X marks the spot. And nothing else, really. Hmm. Let's go to the big tree one more time. Just to see if there's anything that I missed. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to use the hoverboard here. Uh, how did I do it again? There we go. Okay, what do we have in the hole? A Del DeLorean radar. DeLorean radar off. Okay. It belongs to Doc. You need it to locate the DeLorean, but the battery is down. Okay. Uh, well, there there is some batteries inside this, no? Okay, I will use his, his batteries. Okay. The radar works. The Del DeLorean is far away. Pretty far away, okay. It's still on this island, I hope. Well, at least it doesn't show on the map. Let's go back to the village, then. The radar works, the DeLorean is far away, okay. Are we any closer now? Far away. Far away, okay. Still continues to be far away. Okay, so it's not in the village, apparently. And we also lost the walkie-talkie. Well, I guess because you can't really use it when there's no batteries in it now, can you? Okay, um... Maybe this is now open, I don't know. The fishing shop is closed. Okay. Should we go... Should we go back to the X? Well, might as well. I mean, who knows, maybe the DeLorean is there. Hmm. DeLorean is far away. <laughs> God damn it. Well, can we go anywhere else from here? Does it look like it? No. You're joking, right? Maybe we need a shovel or pick or something. I can use this here. Okay. X marks the spot, the big tree. I don't think there's anything else at the big tree. But might as well go and check it one more time. So I can't climb the tree. And there's nothing else in that hole. Wait, can I even click on the hole anymore? No. Okay, so I don't see anything here. Absolutely nothing. Mm. So we must do something here uh, in the village. Hmm. I mean, seriously, where is everyone? Is it so early? Is it so early in the morning that no one has uh, woken up yet? Hmm. Hmm. 
maybe if I could I possibly tell him to take his clothes off so he so he will throw himself with a C. Well, if I can, I don't know how. Now let's look at the sea again. In the depths of the sea, I see a chest. Okay, I can I can't do anything here. Hmm. Oh, I don't see anything that we can do. We can, we can only interact with the sea or just go back to the beach. Hmm. I really don't know what to do next, folks. I might have to do some good old pixel hunting here. The DeLorean is far away. Well, that's, this thing is not really helping us, is it? Can I do anything else with it? Hmm. The only other place that, the only other interesting place where we can't go to yet is this uh, fish shop. Fishing shop is closed. That doesn't seem to work. I uh, yeah, I didn't think so. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know. I was, I was wondering, maybe I can use the hoverboard here to dig out the eggs. It's pretty dumb if you ask me, but I don't know what else to do here. That doesn't seem to work here, yeah, I didn't think so. I was just thinking that maybe we could have used this hoverboard, hoverboard as a shovel. X marks the spot. Hmm. Yeah. It didn't take long for me to get stuck, and I did it. Hmm, damn it. I want to... I want to do at least something else before I end this episode. Actually, how long have I been playing? Um... If I'm not mistaken, I've been playing for about... About 40 minutes. About about 40 minutes, maybe a little less. less. Hmm. And I still, I, still, I still don't understand what's the point of this here. Here lies Emmett Brown. Uh, was Emmett Brown? Wait, was Emmett Brown the name of name of the dog, uh, Christopher Lloyd? Because I don't remember his name. And actually, truth to be told, I at first thought that Emmett was a woman's name. I apologize to all Emmets out there. Yeah, I guess that we have to do something here in the village, but I just don't know what. We can't interact with this bus stop in any way. At least, I don't think so. No. It's so quiet that it's eerie. So many posters and yet I can't even look at them. Then we got the beach here. Absolutely nothing that we can do here. At least there's nothing that I can click on. Absolutely nothing. 
Then here the only thing that we have is the sea here, but he won't he just won't go there. I will not throw myself in the water. Can't talk to the sea, obviously. We can't use the, use this hoverboard on it, can we? That doesn't seem to work. Nope. In the depths of the sea I see a chest. So there's a chest, along with many sharp objects, and also that, uh, and also that small statue uh, thingy that Lechuk used to try to drown uh, Guybrush in the first game, the first Monkey Island game. Hmm. Well, damn. Well, okay. You know what? I'm gonna end this episode here. And in the next episode, well, let's try to figure, figure out what to do next. I I really, I really don't know what to do. There's very little little things to actually interact with. But, as always, if you got any ideas or suggestions what to do next, I'm not assuming that many, if any of you, have ever played this game before, because this came out... When did this come out? This came out actually quite recently. Has it been two or three weeks or so? Three weeks tops, I think, but pretty recently, so I'm not assuming that there's anyone uh, watching this who has played this game before, but if you got any ideas or suggestions, let me know in the comments, you know the drill, because I'm really stuck here. But anyway, until next time. Thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Back to the Future Part 3, Timeline of Monkey Island.